Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Ball Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would please go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you already guessed from the title of this video, I finally got in my pre-order from Terra Moon Cosmetics. So I wanted to go ahead and see how it looked and how it worked on darker skin tones. And I also wanted to see how it looked against my naked skin versus being swatched against a dark base. So if you're ready to see the different shades we got in and the different swatches of the different shades and the different variations of the swatch, then you already know. Let's keep going. You're my bitter one taking me home. Okay, so Terra Moon, there are several people here on YouTube. I've been watching their videos. I've been wanting to go ahead and place these orders for quite some time now, but one of the shades that I really wanted was completely sold out, and I just waited, and I went ahead and bought it as part of a pre-order of her cosmetics, um, different eyeshadows that she actually has, and she does them in smaller batches. You have to pre-order them. Uh, the first shade that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is called Firefly. And this is going to be one of their loose powder pigments. And we're going to go ahead and this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'm going to turn down the lights a little bit. Okay, so I went ahead and turned down the lights a little bit so you can see it just a little bit better. But this is Firefly. And this is Firefly going across that back that black base so this way you guys can see what it looks like on its own and what it looks like going across a black base that is stunning do you guys see how it kind of goes silver and then boom you start to see the fireflies at night starting to shine and twinkle through which is a green um it's a green, pink, blue hue with a silver base. And on my naked skin, you can see flat on, it looks like a glowing green. But as you turn, it disappears and you start to see the silver base. You see it coming back and you see it disappearing and going. It has a small shift of pink in there as well. This is beautiful and that's Firefly. Now I wanna go ahead and get into her shades first. You can see this is a multi-chrome. You can see it's green, and then it goes into like a pink, and the shifts back with it. That is so pretty. So this one is called Mirage. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch Mirage up against my skin and across the actual back black base. I just wanna see which one makes more sense? Do I need to base these before I use them? This really looks like a chameleon shade. You guys see how pretty that is? Oh my God, that is beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch it. They are so soft. Pink, green, you see those shifts. Stunning. I'm not seeing one that I'm swatching just yet that I have to base out. But it will definitely stand out stronger on your eyes if you base it. But this is a black base. Oh my God, that is. Do you guys see that green, the pink shift? That's beautiful. And that, once again, is Mirage. Now I want to go in here with the next shade, which is UFO. And again, when I was watching the different videos, I was just making a list of the different shades that I saw that I was like, hmm, that seems very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. So here is UFO. And let's go ahead and swatch it. It's more of a purple with gold and pink is what I'm seeing, but let's see. And 
And that's on a blackened base. That is really pretty. It's more or less a purple. But you can kind of see how it kind of goes just a little bit bluey there. Just a little bit. See that shift right there? See how it's shifting right there? You can see the, the pink in the middle, the purple on the outside. But as I continue to shift, that is... That is gorgeous. It's like, are you kidding me? That's Mirage. That's a really pretty purple. Um, I would say I'm the least impressed. I'm sorry, that's UFO. I'm the least impressed by UFO so far at this point. The next shade we're gonna go ahead and try is Orion's Belt. And this is what Orion's Belt looks like. It looks teal and turquoise on the camera. But I promise you, this is a very beautiful sea blue. That is pretty. It has like these micro shimmers in it. It has micro shimmers of green and orange and gold. Let's put it right here at the top. That's Orion's belt. Orion's belt goes from like a, you see that pewter silver into a flash of blue. You can really see it right there. See the blue? And it's doing the same thing on my regular skin tone across that black base. So, so far, I'm not seeing not one shade that I have to actually use the black base for. Obviously, with the base, it's showing up more intensified. But that is amazing. And the black base is just the pretty vulgar cosmetics uh, eyeliner. I just went ahead and smeared it all down my arm. But this is what it looks like as I'm trying to wipe it off. You can even see the silver to the blue flash on my actual hand. And they are not coming off at all. The next one that I want to go ahead and do, this one is Radiation. Radiation is a green with a whole lot of green and gold glitter in it. And these formulas are super soft. I'm noticing that as I'm swatching, they're coming across just a little chunky. So I may want to be a little more gentle with my swatching of it. But that one swatch literally just keeps going and going and going. But you can see the green to the gold. See that shift in it? And across that base. It actually looks prettier without the base. The base doesn't really do anything for it. But it is a shining bright one. That is simply beautiful. And again, that one was radiation. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, my voice kind of went out a little bit. Uh, that is radiation, and that is beautiful. And the last colored one that I have in, this is Mood Ring. As I was watching Tina the Fancy Face, Amy Loves Makeup, uh, and some other ones, Mood Ring is just one that just kept just, I was just like, that green, or is it blue? Which color is it? Is it teal? It goes into a money green to a yellow. It's just, it was so pretty. And I was like, okay. So let me go ahead and try this one. And again, it is a really soft shadow shade. So let's go ahead and put it on. And it is on a blackened base. So that is Mood Ring. Mood Ring goes from a gold lime green to a uh, teal blue. Do you see that? And across the base, it does the same thing. See it as it's moving across that base? Like that just seems like that's just stunning. These are beautiful trichromes, absolutely beautiful. Again, these two, not so much, they're just regular colors, but the rest of them, the rest of them just shift and dance beautifully. Getting into my first ones that are coming in with the white base. This is the Lunar Spectrum. 
And when she was actually doing it, I was just like, man, that is stunningly beautiful. But I haven't seen too many people with darker skin tones actually swatch and or use any of these products. And I was like, okay, so I guess I'm going to have to be the one to go in here and try them and look at them across a darker uh, skin tone. But this one, once again, is Lunar Spectrum. And that's Lunar Spectrum. It's really pretty across that black base. It's sheer than the rest of them, as you guys can tell. But that is going into like, um, it's a green and it shifts. On camera, you're seeing pink, but in real life, see, there go that green. It's shifting to a green. You can see it there as I turn my arm that way. That's the problem with these, it's so hard. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it, oh. I just had to turn it into the light. Oh, these are beautiful. Do you see that green? Is it pink on a white base? Or did it just flash and go completely green? Oh, that is beautiful. That's beautiful, so that's the pink flashing into a green. That is stunningly beautiful. The next one I wanna go ahead and get into is called Saturn's Rings. When I saw Saturn's rings, I was just like, I had to have it. You were definitely going to go ahead and get into my cart. Looking at it, again, all of these are across a white base. So when you're looking at it white in the pen, you really cannot tell exactly which one it is as far as which one is making sense with it. But this one almost looks like a highlighter. I do see gold and flashes of green. So let's go ahead and give her a swatch. Oh my God, that's that's gonna be a pretty strong gold shift. It looks white on my finger and you can't even see any shifting or moving of it yet, but watch this. You see how it just looks gold? And then it turns and it flashes like a light green. That is pretty. So if you see this one, this one goes into pink into a deeper green the one on the bottom goes gold into a light green that is beautiful that is beautiful and i would i would dare say that i would definitely go ahead and use them that's beautiful I would definitely go ahead and use them across a darkened base. And as it shears out on my finger, I don't even know if you guys can even see that too well. You can kind of see it flashing a little bit right there on my finger, but not really too much. I'm going to turn down the lights a little bit better and show it to you guys. And I may have to put up my um, camera flash on it so you guys can really, really see the true beauty of it. So the next one we have is Lightyear and Lightyear. Oh, 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 Lightyear. Lightyear is one that I just, whew. um, you're about to be stunned with this one. Lightyear definitely has a pink tint flip into it. And again, it just looks like a white eyeshadow. You can't see anything until you put it on and you see how it looks gold. It looks like the one above it, right? Look at that shift. Light year goes, it's kind of like a mermaid scale is the best way I could describe that one. It's kind of definitely going into a mermaid scale. There's no other way you could put that one. See how it flashes that bright turquoise? And these are like micro press glitters within a base. So it actually stays on and actually makes sense. But that is beautiful. Completely beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. I am happy about these. Like, I can't wait to play and do some looks with these. This next one is Phoenix. I'm saving my two last favorites for last, but 
Oh, oh my God. Phoenix is, Phoenix has some major shifts and flashes. Let's see if I can get Phoenix fit in right here for you guys. Now look at Phoenix. Phoenix is an orange. It's almost like the new Kaleidos highlighter that just came out. That's what Phoenix is. Phoenix is amazingly beautiful. Phoenix is a orange gold that just shifts and changes. It's a power look. Okay, as I start to turn, you can see it. And as I go further back, you can see more of that orange shift. It's like an orange peachy shift. See it right there? It's like it's chasing Orion's belt or something. Phoenix should have been called Orion's belt because it just chases and moves. That is beautiful. That one is... <laughs> I want to say the last one that I got was supposed to be my favorite one. But I, I, I don't even... I don't even. Now, Red Giant is the reason why she has a cult following. It's a cult favorite. So let's go ahead and take Red Giant. And let's see if I got any more black. I don't have any more black left on the brush. <laughs> Sucks. So Red Giant. Red Giant is going to look like this. We're going to take Red Giant right up here at the top, guys. That's Red Giant. Red Giant, you see how it has that pinky flash, but it goes gold? Red Giant is kind of like a red, pink, gold, but more has that just the little flashes in it that's stunningly beautiful. Okay, so let's turn on the lights. Yeah, that's all I needed to do was turn on the light so you guys can see that flash. See that flashing red giant? Oh my God, that is so pretty. And my fingers look like, like I've been playing with E.T. or something. Because that's everything from my finger. And that right there is Phoenix that I just brushed on my hand. You can see Phoenix better on my hand. With the flashes of the orange, the little bit of green and the gold. That is stunning. But those are the shades. And when I tell you I'm just sitting up here enamored and I'm just like, oh. Phoenix, Phoenix is definitely one of my favorites. Um, my second favorite is going to be Lightyear. So Phoenix. Lightyear and Red Giant just are calling my heart. I love all of them. If I'm looking for a green or a blue look, obviously I'll go with some of the other ones in there. But Phoenix, Red Giant, and Lightyear, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's just doing something for me. And you're looking at them and you're thinking like, hmm. See if I could twist my arm. I'm trying to twist my arm correctly. So you guys can see the flashes and the shifts in them. While I have this down, let's go ahead and do one other thing. I want to go ahead and take Phoenix. And I'm going to go ahead and take Phoenix and put it right here inside of my eye. That's Phoenix right there on me. Phoenix is so pretty. It just... It just lights up. So that's Phoenix. Now I wanna go ahead and put Red Giant on the other one. I'm gonna put Red Giant on my other inner eye, inner, <laughs> inner eye highlight so you guys can see it. Phoenix is more of an orange shift. Red Giant will give you more of a red pink shift. That is pretty. That is pretty. And because I'm also extra, I want to go ahead and take my favorite one. I didn't know that this is going to be my favorite one, but I'm not even mad. I'm taking Lightyear. 
And I just want to know what light year looks like as a highlighter. I want to take light year right here as a highlighter and just see what she looks like. Can you put a white base on darker skin tones? That is so pretty. And a little goes such a long way with these. That's what I'm just looking at. Like, okay, I OD. But I just really wanted to see what it actually looked like. But that is so pretty. And you could kind of like just shear it down and shear it out just a little bit to where it becomes a little bit more wearable. Either you can be super highlight and bright with it or you can shear it down. So for me, I can't even lie to you guys. A lot of these I will be using as highlighters because that's just how I am. And since we sit up here playing with them, let's go ahead and take a look at Lunar Spectrum as a highlighter. Let's see how this one looks. Because I already know what it looks like right here with that pink shift. So I just want to see, will it look the same on my actual face being darker complected? Oh, that pink is so pretty. Oh, it's coming off with the green terrestrial pink. Oh, um, oh, that is so pretty. I just want to put that everywhere. That is, that is beautiful. See what that looks like? That is, I look like... <laughs> I look like I look like I'm a female alien, and I'm loving it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm love I'm, I'm I'm just like I'm I'm loving it. Like taking just press it into your skin just to tone it down a little bit. Oh, are you serious? Okay, so these are the shades that I didn't know, didn't think that I would need, but they are so beautiful, guys. They are so beautiful. I know right now she's doing pre-orders for her December 13th, December 10th and December 13th order. I'm not sure if she's doing any Black Friday sales or anything, but oh my God, guys, if you were thinking about wanting multi-chrome uh, eyeshadows that doubles as, as, as pigments for you to be able to use different places and do different things with. Or if you may have been thinking about, um, what can I say? Uh, any type of extraterrestrial, just space oddity type look, this is definitely, definitely for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and spending time with me. I don't care if you watch me in the morning, afternoon, evening, or late at night. I'm just happy you chose to come spend some time with your girl. And as always, YouTube, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And you guys have a safe Thanksgiving holiday season as we start to travel and move around. You guys be safe.